At just 14 years old, Tiffany Poon is already a skilled concert pianist with a website and lots of video clips on YouTube. She was playing challenging compositions by the age of six and was accepted into the prestigious Juilliard School of Music in New York City at the age of eight. I was around three years old and I had a toy piano that was yellow and it had four keys and it was tiny. And my, I got it for some time, I don't know, when I was two probably. And I would play all the time. My dad loves to play music on his hi-fi stereo, so I would follow whatever he plays. Like sometimes he would play opera and I'd play to it. Director of the Melbourne Conservatorium at the University of Melbourne, Professor Gary McPherson, has been watching Tiffany's progress since she was a small girl. A leader in the field of music education, Professor McPherson has a special interest in giftedness. As part of his research in the University of Melbourne's Mind, Music and Wellbeing, he has been looking at the psychological and personal characteristics that accompany prodigious talent. For me, there's three psychological needs that need to be satisfied in order for someone to become very, very good at something and to have the drive and the motivation to succeed. The first one is relatedness. It's the factor of being connected with others, having a very good relationship with your parents and also your teacher. The second psychological need that needs to be met is uh, competence. We need to feel that we're good at something in order to to give us the confidence and the, uh, the motivation to sort of drive and, and continue doing it. And the third one that uh, for me is the really interesting part is autonomy, the psychological need of autonomy, feeling that we make the personal choices ourselves rather than having those choices imposed on us. And that's one of the remarkable things about uh, Tiffany. She knows, she has a sense of where she's going. She has a sense of what she wants to do next. So there's a lot of autonomy. She's doing it because it's being driven by her own intrinsic love and desire for music rather than others imposing that on her. As well as being extraordinarily talented, Tiffany is also incredibly hardworking, practicing for at least two hours after school each day. On Saturday, she attends all day classes and recitals as part of the Juilliard pre-college program and she does around four hours of private practice on Sundays. Music is no, no different to any other discipline. It takes about 10,000 hours of practice over about 10 years to become an expert in the area. If you want to become a professional musician or a prof professional physicist or mathematician or even sport. So music is no different from other disciplines. Hopefully I'll become a really um, good concert pianist. So I hope to tour around, but I would like to go to college. So maybe an Ivy League. Mm -hmm.